Howdy guys, Nintendo Caprice on here, welcome back to Castle in the Darkness. In the last episode, we beat the frog, he pulled a Mr. Wily on us, or Dr. Wily, rather. And, uh, bowed down to us, but somehow I get the feeling we haven't seen the last of him. And so now, we are in the Windy Ruins, which, uh, <laughs> from what I remember, is not exactly the friendliest place. Here's another warp. That's warp number four, okay. If that gives you any sense of, like, how far into the game we actually are. That's right, I can't jump there. Looks like you should be able to break those. I don't know. Whatever. So, as you can see in the Windy Ruins, the wind blows you back. And you have to compensate for that when you make your jumps. It's not nearly as difficult as it looks. If you just, you know, get a sense for it. But you also have to sometimes use the wind, the extra momentum from the wind, to make certain jumps like this one here, and that one just before that I just made. So there is that. It's kind of an obstacle, not too big of a deal though. And there's our save point. <laughs> That'll definitely be a useful save point. I can't tell you how many times I've come through this this area. Like this is muscle memory here. That's how many times I've been through this. Dun dun dun. Like that. Get this guy here. Get this guy here. Get this here. Get this here. And you mess that up. That's okay. Get through that like that. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, get through that like that. Jump like this. Oh, yeah. Because this is really like, there's a long, it's a long way to the next checkpoint. Like, there's a boss between us and the next checkpoint. That guy's in a bad spot. So this is actually the kind of area where I think the arrows might even be useful. It might even be better. Now, I think if you jump down here, you can get that treasure chest we passed earlier. Or did we pass a treasure chest? You can jump down to a treasure chest from somewhere up here. And I'm, I'm gonna try it. Yeah, there, yeah. You get the torch. Okay. So that dark area that I was talking about earlier that I went to... Or the one that I keep going to and saying, oh, I can't get there yet. Well, I do that now. <clears throat> and I've never done it before, so it'll be a first for the both of us. Shoot, the thing appeared right above my head. Like an invisible block in a Kaizo Mario game. I'm not sure what causes that lightning to show up. It seems almost random, actually. Yeah, a little tricky maneuvering. That's not too bad, though. I mean, that's not that hard to do. So get through this, and then we get out here in the wind again. Oh, yes, lightning on the bird. I love it. Why don't we actually see if we can... Yes, good. Maybe we can do it here, too. No, a little bit closer, a little bit closer. That's better. Okay. That's so hard to avoid taking damage sometimes. Plus, when you're in between screens like that, you can't always be sure that you're going. Is that what you're doing, or if you're doing the right thing, or... That right there is why I'm glad that you don't get knocked back in midair, because that would be a problem if you did. This here, if I'm not mistaken, is a callback to Yellow Devil, although nowhere near as difficult. Let's shoot some things back at him is all you gotta do. That actually took me a while to figure out. I was trying to get up close to him and hit him. It wasn't working. And I thought, what was I supposed to do? I was like, what do I do? Where do I go? Then of course I figured out I had to shoot things back at him, which the game told you previously you could do. Didn't always necessarily specify when. But you did just get a sword that re Well, the thing is, the sword... If you look at the description for the Runic Blade, the sword with the five attack power, it says that it reflects stuff back at the enemies, but it's like, well, most of the other swords do too. But I think it's like all the other swords do. 
in a case where you have to reflect the stuff back. Like, if it's something where the reflection is a requirement, then they just make all the swords do it. So that if you happen to have the wrong equipment, you're not, like, penalized for that. Oh, there we go. That's not too bad. Man, I can't tell you how many times I got to that boss, though, after so much trouble. And then died and had to do all of that over again. And then just come in here and see there's still no checkpoint. Well, of course, there is now, but... Boy, oh boy. Curiosity. Killed the cat. It's worth it. <laughs> I'm not gonna save there and do all that over again. In fact, I'm not 100% sure that that save point I landed on down there was even something that I'd never been to. What if it turned out I'd never been down there? Because I might not have. It looked familiar, and I'm pretty sure based on the trajectory of the hallways that I've been going down for the last several minutes, that that wasn't somewhere I'd already been, but I could never be too certain. Okay, those guys, I don't even know what they are supposed to be, but... But whatever. Okay, that looks way too suspicious. Okay. Huh. Oh, I, I just realized what those monsters remind me of, actually. The ones crawling on the walls. They remind me of the monsters in Sigma. Sigma 4 and Mega Man X. The ones you grind off of to get your weapon energy up. You just go up and down the wall and go... Boo, 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 boo. Except they don't jump off the walls at you like that. Boo another save point. Well, shoot, I'll take it. So now that I got the save point, let me actually go back and see something here. Because I read something about that room that I was staring at for like five minutes there just now. Oh, I can't get that. Oh, wait, yeah, I can. Just have to go down the left side. Let me check this out. Sure enough, they're fake. How am I gonna make that? Is that seriously? Which of these spikes are fake? Some of these must be fake. Ah! Some of them are. Just the first four, maybe? If the first four are fake, I can make it. Maybe not. If I could avoid stepping on that third switch? Shoot! How many of those are actually invisible? I need to check that out. But, you know, I've seen some jumps that are absolutely... Don't! Why? Okay, I have no idea why that happened. I had it all set up and everything, and then I balled it up. Okay, that's definitely <laughs> the way you want to do it. Okay, ready? That wasn't so bad. Just, I thought this was going to go to like some huge torture room or something. Because I've read that there is a torture room of some sort. But I don't think I've seen it yet. Oop. <laughs> Alright. Oh, oh, man. You broke that block, man. I'm going to sit here and do all this all over again. <laughs> Sit there and pout and complain. What am I gonna do? Moan and groan? Well, anybody else would. Yeah, who'd listen anyway? Just make sure you don't touch that block. Those breakable blocks, I mean, they'll break when you hit them from any direction, not just land on them. So that's something to consider. This is another one, one of those areas I had to play like a hundred times. So eventually I just decided to compromise and do stuff like one thing at a time here. Oh my god. And that spike right there. I've fallen for that one probably more than any other one in the entire game. It's just, you know, you go through so much trouble making this jump in the wind over spikes. 
the last thing you're thinking about is that there's going to be a death trap at the end of it. Ah, oh, I even knew it was coming that time, and I still died at it. Why do I... So I have to compensate for that, so then I have to change the direction that I... There we go. I don't even need to do this, but... So this music, actually, I believe, is a reference to Final Fantasy. As in, it starts out with that same bass line, like... Doo -doo 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 That's gonna have to stop. I don't know why I keep doing that. Was, oh, oh my god! Are you seeing this? We are approaching Game Grumps level... Oh, I did not just say that. Oh, boy. Okay. See if we can do this right this time. Not that much further up to it. So here we go. This is the heavy armor. This is better than the armor I currently have on. Um, in terms of it's better defense. However, it's, it's heavy, which means it makes you walk slower. It makes you jump slower. It makes you jump lower. <laughs> Don't you just love when two words rhyme like that? Okay, now when you jump onto those two blocks over the spikes, you have to make sure you only jump onto one of them so that only one of them disintegrates. Otherwise, you'd be stuck over here and you can't get back over the spikes. So, be mindful of that. So what I was doing was I was coming in here and getting the armor and then going back to the save point. Okay, this guy. Um, this, this guy, a lot of people seem to have problems with this guy on the message boards. Shit. I had the wrong magic equipped. Yeah, this is, uh... This might be bad. Because, see, here's the thing. Can I hit him with my... Oh, yeah, I can. Okay. But I keep getting hit myself, which is bad. Um... Yeah, a lot of people on the message boards say this guy's a problem. But... Once I figured him out, I didn't think he was that bad. He's giving me some trouble now because I because I don't have the magic that I usually use on him. Plus these ghosts are really annoying. Okay, that helps. You get out of here. Oh shoot! You know I finally get rid of him and then he throws out three more of them. The stoop. Holy crap! Who's taking a piss over there? Somebody was taking a piss in my sink. Seriously, I just heard it. I heard somebody over there pissing. Maybe it's this guy. He is a ghost, after all. Yeah, that... That attack, I'm pretty sure, is... Uh, largely luck-based, whether or not you get hit by that. Now, see, we're getting through this first... Six inches of this room. I said I'm getting through the first six inches of this room without taking damage, if you don't mind. Oh, speaking of which, I need to change my magic anyway. Then I'll show you how easy this guy actually is. I guess a lot of people wouldn't think you'd use the first magic in the game on a boss this far into the game, but it turns out it works pretty well on him. Make sure you only land on one of those. Shit. Well, I'll take the damage at this point. Okay. So basically, here's what you do. You just kind of stay on one side of him so that the shield stays over there. And when you're ready to hit him, just run to the other side, do it, and then run back over here. So you could stand over here to avoid the sword, but you still take damage from over there. Um... Shit, he's doing it again. Don't stand all the way on the right, because sometimes it hits you anyway. I mean, it did hit me there anyway. For, yeah, see. If you're on the side of that shield, you're not going to get through it. No matter what you do. Crap. Should have seen that coming. Telegraphed it. Seeing the fireball also takes care of the... Um, ghosts, so that helps. If you would stop spitting them out, that would be great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, that hits him twice. 
And does pretty decent damage. There we go. Okay, we're just gonna brute force it from here, I think. There we go. Buzz I am. See you later. Wait a second. I don't remember that sprite of the ghost going up after you beat him. I don't remember seeing that before. But okay. Alright. Of course, the last thing you want to do is beat him and then die here. So, Mega Man again? Jeez. Alright. 